Okay, Dr. Paya. All right, hello. So today we'll do something I actually had lots of trouble with. It took me at least half an hour to do this video. We will write one matrix as a product of elementary matrices. So let's write three minus four, seven minus eight as a product. The linear algebra version of the Prada loop. Okay, so <laughs> product of elementary matrices. Nice. I like the Prada loop. Yeah, for sure. Is there a Chen loop for this though? Huh? A matrix multiplication, maybe? Okay. Yeah, sort maybe of. Next a, time. Okay. okay. As a product of elementary matrices, all this means is, as usual, you row reduce, but you just have to keep track of all the steps. And this is also important, I think, in numerical analysis when you do, I'm not even kidding, the LU factorization, <laughs> the LU factorization, okay? So. Lower just, and upper, right? Yeah, I just yeah. realized that. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, so three minus four, seven minus eight. Okay, okay, step by step. First of all, this three we want to turn into one. So let's divide, I guess let's multiply by one third. And I'll also explain what the elementary matrix is. So we get one minus four thirds, seven minus eight. Then we want to subtract seven times the first row from the second row to get one minus four thirds, zero four thirds. And notice this is upper triangular, so for the LU factorization, that's all you need, but let's continue. Then, one thing we can do, we can add this second row to the first row to get one, zero, zero, four thirds. And we can multiply this by three quarters, and we get one, zero, zero, one. Okay, those are the steps. Let's see what we've done. So, what this says, if you take this matrix, multiply the first row by minus one third, then add minus seven times the first row to the second row, then add the second row to the first row, and multiply the second row by three quarters, you get the identity matrix. Let's write that in terms of elementary matrices. So, Three minus four, seven minus eight. The first thing was to multiply the first row by one third. We can write this in terms of the elementary matrix, which multiplies the first row by one third, is just zero, zero. It's like the identity matrix, but the row we multiplied by becomes that number. So one third, zero, zero, one third. That is the elementary matrix corresponding to multiplication. Then, the next thing we did, we added minus seven times the first row to the second row. So, the first row is unchanged, so it becomes like the identity matrix. And to say we add minus seven times the first row to the second row, it means this is one, and then because we add the minus seven times the first row to the second row, this entry is minus seven. So basically the first column is minus something times what, and to what row is second. So if you add, let's say, minus three times the second row to the uh, uh, third row or something, it would be like the uh, three comma tooth entry. So. This is the second thing. And then, what was the next thing? Was adding the second row. So one times the second row to the first row. So the identity matrix. But because we're dealing with the first row, it has to deal with this value. And we're adding the second row. So it's here. And lastly, we just uh, uh, multiplied the second row by 3 quarters. So like the identity matrix, but the second diagonal is three quarters. So if you do all that, in the end, we get the identity matrix. 
Which means, if you think about this, so by the way, when I did matrix inverses, this is what's called the matrix R. Okay, what does that mean? It means that three minus four, seven minus eight, because this times this is the identity, so BA is the identity, and if A is squared, this means that B equals to A inverse. I guess A, A is B inverse, sorry. Stay on the way. On the way. Which means this matrix equals to this whole matrix inverse. 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, minus 7, 1, and 1 third, 0, 0, 1, inverse. And remember, to take the inverse of a product of the matrices, you reverse the order, so it becomes 1 third, 0, 0, 1, inverse, times 1, 0, minus 7, 1, inverse, times 1, 1, 0, 1, inverse, and 1, 0, 0, 3 quarters, inverse. And again, that's because if you put all your socks on and then put your shoe on, the inverse is you first take your shoe off and then take your socks off. Otherwise, it's awkward. Okay, <laughs> That's why we need to reverse this. And here's the cool thing. Turns out the Inverse of elementary matrices are still elementary matrices because what's the inverse of multiplying the first row by one third is multiplying the first row by three. So three, zero, zero, one. What's the inverse of adding minus seven times the first row to the second row? Well, it's adding seven times the first row to the second row. So you replace this minus seven by seven. And again, this, minus, this one becomes minus one. And lastly, this three quarters becomes four thirds. And so indeed, what have you done? You've written three minus four, seven minus eight as what are called products of elementary matrices. And in case you're skeptical, let me, let's evaluate that product. So, 3, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 7, 1, 1, minus 1, 0, 1, and 1, 0, 0, 4 thirds. Okay, so it's 3, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 7, 1. Okay, 1 times 1, which is 1, so 1, and then minus 4 thirds, and then 0, and then 4 thirds. And then essentially, what this means, you add seven times the first row to the second row, so one minus four thirds, and then seven, and then I guess minus eight. Okay. And lastly, if you multiply the first row by three, you do get three minus four, seven minus eight. Which, let's see, let's do some magic. Wow, that's precisely the result that we get. Wow. Uh, all right, I hope you liked it. And you know, if you like, want to see more of that, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank Dr. you. Dr. Payan Show. Woo! Woo!